Uh, by way of disclosure, I should mention that I have been involved in research funding from Diopsis Incorporated. CORDA stands for Color Reflectivity Discretization Analysis. Essentially, this is software that allows further analysis of spectral domain OCT images. It's been developed by a company called Diopsis, which is in New Jersey. They can do both global and sector, sectoral analysis, sub-analysis of the OCT signal. And they have broken the OCT reflectivity patterns down into four different patterns based on high and low reflectivity. There's a thought that the differences in reflectivity may at, reflect differences at a cellular level. And so different cellular constituencies, constituents may be isolated by looking at the different reflectivities. In particular, early work suggests that the HR2 parameter may represent the axons of ganglion cells. To help investigate this further, we recruited, under the direction of Sonia Shah, one of our residents, 51 subjects, which were spread between normal patients, ocular hypertension or glaucoma suspect, and open-angle glaucoma patients. All of these patients had the serous uh, spectra domain OCT imaging, as well as a Humphrey visual field, and then the corridor analysis. This shows you the typical uh, serous uh, spectra domain OCT, and then the corridor sub-analysis showing you the different parameters, HR1 and 2, LR1 and 2, and also breaking it down further uh, and without classification in this printout. This gives you a sense, as we look across average RNFL thickness for all of these subjects from 40 to 100 microns, 120 microns, here we have the means of these three different parameters. You can see that LR1 and LR2 are not strongly tied to the thickness of the nerve fiber layer. However, HR2, the high reflectivity second uh, analysis parameter, that does show an increase as nerve fiber layer gets thicker. When we correlate nerve fiber layer thickness to mean deviation, you can see that there is a global correlation for all of the subject, for all of the glaucoma subjects. And as shown in prior work, there is a correlation for the superior nerve fiber layer thickness alone and inferior nerve fiber layer thickness alone. Focusing here, you can see that the HR2 corda analysis was correlated significantly to the um, mean deviation on the visual field test. I'm not going to be able to share with you today much more information than that, but I would summarize by saying our preliminary data shows that there may be some uh, potential here by looking at a more sophisticated analysis of the OCT signal to allow us to really get at subcomponents that more directly correlate with uh, our patient's glaucoma status, both visual field status, nerve fiber layer thickness status, and possibly other parameters as well. So we have ongoing studies now uh, that we're pursuing with the court analysis. Thank you very much.